we're going to start off with a look outside your weather window. This is a shot of Interstate 84 near Twin Falls. As you can see, sun's coming up, traffic's picking up, road conditions pretty good this morning. Even the winds, not too bad. Sunshine in through Pocatello, some clouds as well. 33 degrees out at the airport. Seven mile per hour winds means our feels like temperature is about 27 degrees. So still a little chilly start to the mornings. 32 right at the freezing mark for Idaho Falls. Cloudy skies, light winds about six miles per hour. So your feels like temperature is about 26 degrees. In through Jackson, some clouds mixing with that sunshine, 28 degrees with a very light wind in through Jackson right now. Some temperatures around the region. We're looking at 34 for Dubois, right at the freezing mark for Ashton, Ryrie 35, Rigby 34, Fort Hall 29, American Falls, 32 degrees around the region. We're looking at 30s for the Central Mountains right now. 20s in through Stanley, 30s in through Haley, Chalice, and Salmon. Island Park at 27, Driggs 32, Afton 30, 41 for Malad City this morning. So our winds, we talked about that a little bit. They will increase throughout the day, especially in through the Magic Valley area. We're looking at 20 mile per hour winds close to noon uh, this afternoon, and then things will pick up a little bit, and then they'll die off. As you can see, 11 mile per hour winds through Pocatello and Idaho Falls by tonight. And that should get back down into the single digits. Taking a look at our radar picture, we're looking at this system moving off in through eastern Idaho. Dropped a little bit of rain, even some snow in through the higher elevations. Not much in through the valley floor, though. As you can see from our storm tracker, things begin to clear up a little bit as far as that moisture goes. But another round, another system coming in off the Pacific, pushing into our area tomorrow can create some unstable weather, and that could lead to some thunderstorms. We'll tell you about that in just a minute. Right now, increasing clouds throughout this afternoon for parts of the lower valley looking for mid 50s for the highs in the upper valley 60s for Pocatello Blackfoot and American Falls for those daytime highs then in through Jackson partly to mostly cloudy skies today Jackson 48 Afton 47 47 for Island Park 49 for Driggs and in through the Central Mountains today not too bad of a day partly cloudy skies highs in the 50s so pretty comfortable 55 for Ch uh, Chalice 58 for Salmon then overnight tonight cloudy conditions remaining in through the Central Mountains 37 and over Overnight low for Salmon, 32 for Stanley, 36 for Chalice. Now through the Teton Valley, Wyoming and Idaho, cloudy conditions. Our overnight lows just a little bit below the freezing mark for Jackson and Afton. 29 for Yellowstone, 29 for Island Park. We're looking at 34 for an overnight low in Driggs and 33 for Soda Springs. Then in through the valley, cloudy conditions tonight. Our overnight lows in the 40s for the lower valley, mid to upper 30s for parts of the upper valley as well. Here's a look at your Southeast Idaho Chevy dealer's seven day forecast. Breezy tomorrow in through Pocatello. Chance of some thunderstorms storms developing uh, in the later hours. As far as rainfall amounts go, pretty much under a quarter of an inch of rain expected for Saturday and Sunday. We get a little bit of cloud activity on Monday and Tuesday, and then we expect to get back into the 60s by midweek next week. Could A week from day could be hitting the 70s for those daytime highs. Blackfoot also cloudy conditions tomorrow, 55 for a high, and then a chance of some showers on Sunday and breezy conditions as well. Overnight lows in the 40s and 30s. Idaho Falls, chance of some showers and a little windy, 20 to 25 mile per hour winds there 54 for the high on Saturday low 50s for Sunday and Monday upper 50s by Tuesday and a bit breezy for the later part of the weekend as well Jack or for uh, Rexburg we're looking for a chance of showers Saturday and Sunday with highs remaining in the 50s through the weekend windy breezy conditions extending through the weekend as well through the Teton area chance of showers Saturday Sunday and Monday that could mean a little bit of snow in the overnight hours and in through the central mountains looking for cloudy conditions a chance of moisture coming in on Sunday, Deanne.